Beignets on set right now, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Inside the Mercedes-Benz Superdome 25 years ago, Alabama won a national championship, aided by a tough wide receiver by the name of Dabo Sweeney. Got a little roots in the rivalry and certainly in this city. It is media day for the All-State Sugar Bowl. Alabama will go first, followed by Clemson later this morning. Kevin Nagandi down there anchoring our coverage in the Big Easy. RD, thank you so much. We got beignets all day here. Booger McFarland, <laughs> Kevin Nagandi with you. And you mentioned we got the old and familiar for Alabama. They've been here before, especially Nick Saban. New territory for Kelly Bryan and company. We'll hear from Clemson at 1015 Eastern here. Let's talk a little bit about pressure because it's gone back and forth. Yeah. This is the trilogy. This is the rematch of the rematch. But when you look at Alabama, they've been favored in 110 of their last 111 yeah. games. They're favored coming into this. Who's under more pressure coming into this game, Clemson or Alabama? Well, I think it's Clemson. I think when you're Alabama, when you won five national championships like Nick Saban has for at Alabama, I think you don't have any pressure. But if you're Clemson, you've been the consensus favorite by the committee all year. They got 10 top 40 wins at 10 and 0. But I think when you come into this game, it's a different mindset. The last couple of times, they've been the underdog. They've been fighting and clawing and trying to get to the top of that mountaintop. Now they're there. They've been the best team all season. I think they're under pressure in this game. It's weird to see Alabama it not is. under that pressure, yeah. right? Alabama kind of playing the underdog card. Yeah, that is, that is wild, <laughs> even wild. though they're favored by a exactly. field goal right now. And the big question is what kind of Nick Saban we're going to see during media day. Right now, we're getting complimentary. Nick. Well, first of all, I think Dabo is, does a fantastic job um, with his team. He's got a really good coaching staff. Uh, I think they're... Um, very innovative in some of the things that they do offensively, um, which makes it very hard for them to defend. I think they do a very good job of utilizing the personnel that they have. You know, on offense, they're very talented on defense, uh, create a lot of problems for you, very aggressive in how they play. Uh, they've got some really good players, but those players play extremely well. And, you know, they're very solid on special teams and everything they do. So uh, when you look at their team, it's, it's hard to find a lot of weaknesses in terms of uh, what they do and how they do it and the consistency that they do it with. So, um, you know, I, I just think this is a really good program, very well coached. Um, I think Dabo has, you know, great leadership in terms of how people respond to him, and you can tell that by the way his team plays. Hey, Nick, Barrett Salee, CBS. When you see Clemson this year on tape, what stands out about their wide receivers, specifically Hunter Renfro? Well, Hunter Renfro is, you know, a pain in the you-know-what in terms of uh, nothing different from last year to this year. Um, you know, the guy's very quick, um, very instinctive as a player, uh, knows how to get open, um, makes the right decisions, um, really kind of a go-to guy for them on third down, um, especially in the third and, you know, four to six, seven range. So very, very crafty, very quick, um, but very smart in terms of how he plays. And uh, he's been really a consistent, effective, effective player for them. And I think, you know, when I made the statement earlier about how they utilize their personnel, um, that they take to me receiver core is a little bit like a basketball team you know you got to have a point guard you got to have a shooting guard you got to have a power forward and I think that's one of the things that they do really well with their wide receiver core in terms of how they utilize their guys and uh, they utilize him extremely well and he's very effective in how how he does what they ask him to do Nick Saban this morning, media day. He's won five national titles as a head coach, four with Alabama, one with LSU. Five titles are as many as all other active FBS head coaches combined, and one shy of matching Bear Bryant, most in the poll era. Meanwhile, Jalen Hurts will face a Clemson starting D, where all 11 starters saw time in last year's title game. Here's the quarterback for Alabama. Well, I think they have a lot of a lot of speed, a lot of strength, and a lot of length. Um, they're all capable of making plays, and um, they they wreak havoc for the for the quarterback when you know you don't 
do what you're supposed to do offensively. So I think we have to execute and, and do really good up front. Who stands out to you on film? Mm -hmm. I think they all do a good job. Um, well, I mean, you know, we, we have to bounce back, you know, um, have to be able to learn from it, you know, take it and learn from it and um, hopefully overcome. Jalen Hurts this morning. He's won 13 starts as a true freshman last season, followed it up with 11 so far in 2017. 24 total wins over that same time frame, the most by any starting quarterback in the FBS. Much more here on Media Day. Here's Holly, Holly Rowe with Damian Harris. Alabama running back Damian Harris. And as I look at the stats and try to break down stuff for this game, one of the things that stands out to me is, you know, Calvin Ridley has 55 receptions. Next closest guy is a running back in Bo Scarborough with, I think, 14 or 15. So... Who has to step up for you guys offensively and be the other threat? I did notice in practice you were looking pretty good in that screen game. <laughs> you know, we got a lot of guys that can make plays um, at all positions. So our job as, a, as an offense is to get the ball in the hands of our best playmakers. So, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how we distribute the ball. Um, we know that Coach Dave has a great game, offensive game plan for us to be, you know, successful in this game. So we're confident in that, in that, that he'll do whatever it takes to put us in the best position to be successful on Monday. There's this old saying that I think I made up that t when you tempo a tempo team, they don't like it. Clemson goes fast. And I did notice you guys ran some tempo against Auburn. Is Can Alabama really be a tempo team and kind of take it to them? I mean, I think we can. And, you know, that's something that we've been working on. We've been working on a lot of things. So we're just trying to give them a lot of different things that can give them matchup problems, um, tempo problems, just things that can give us an advantage come Monday. So, you know, we're, lo we're looking forward to the challenge. It's such an unusual thing where this is a trilogy. I was trying to think of other great trilogies. So I've come up, my favorite trilogies are Star Wars <laughs> and um, Die Hard. So what is your favorite trilogy? Uh, favorite trilogy? I don't, know, I don't know if I have one. Maybe the Transformers series, maybe something like that. I always love the Transformers movies, so that might, be, that might be my favorite one. Okay, so I think Transformers and Lord of the Rings, those are good ones because if you transform this offense, you could be Lord of the Rings. What do you think about that? Yeah, that's a very good analogy. Hopefully we will be. I love that. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Holly, thank you so much. We won't bring up Star Wars here with this young man because he's yet to see one Star Wars. I'm going to buy you some tickets. They've made 10 okay. of them. I don't <laughs> see all of them. Okay, come on. <laughs> uh, Booger McFarland, Kevin Nagandi here with you uh, as we continue Alabama's media day. Y you know, Damien, talk a bit, little bit about matchup problems. When you look at that backfield, you see Bo Scarborough as well. What do you see as a defensive player when it comes to this matchup? Well, I think the best running back is Damian Harris. He's a guy who's versatile. He can catch the football, and he can take it to the house. But if you remember last year's championship game when Alabama and Clemson played Bo Scarborough, remember the runs he had, the bruising, the physicality. Clemson was almost afraid. Then Scarborough breaks his leg, and it seemed like the momentum turned. I think when you look at the game on Monday night, Look for a heavy dose of Bo Scarborough, even though Damon Harris is the best running back. You mentioned Clemson was a little hesitant. You yeah. don't think they're going to be hesitant? Uh, this is a different defense, I, that front four. It's a different defense. But Bo Scarborough, you got to make a business decision. He's about six foot, about 250 pounds, and he's coming downhill. You don't want to get in front of that man. I don't want to get in front of that <laughs> man. We'll see if Clemson will get in front of that man. We'll hear from Clemson, of course, during the 10 o'clock Eastern hour as they get ready for media day. They are the reigning national champs. We are here from the All-State Sugar Bowl. Much more ahead. I know Bug's a young guy. How does he not see Star Wars? He's never seen. <laughs> He's never seen Star Wars. Wars. Any Star Wars. No. One ep Great wow. stuff on the Clemson Alabama game, but I got to go yeah, back yeah. to Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the new one yet? Yeah, I already saw the new one. I haven't seen the new one yet. Yeah, I mean, it's it's great don't screw it up. Empire for Strikes Back. Yeah, of the course, exactly. I can't believe Darth Vader. I'm gonna. I, yeah. Have you Come seen on. all the Star Wars? No, no. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm gonna. I'm gonna confess something here as I take us completely off track. No I way. didn't see any Star Wars until I was an adult, because I thought it was just science fiction. Okay. But it's not. Booger. Good versus evil. The power. <laughs> the force. Yeah. There, there's a bigger moral <coughs> picture here to watching Star Wars, so yeah. you should. Just yeah. go watch. Yeah, I think if you're like late 30s to yeah. like 50, yeah. it's almost impossible. I was a huge star to not. It's like yeah. it's like being an NFL fan it. in that era. 
either like the Steelers or the, or the Cowboys. Cowboys. Yeah. Exactly, right. And if you if weren't in that lane, you yeah. boy, you're kind of going against the grain. I know. Yeah. But, you know, for, uh, for a long time, Alabama has been viewed as the evil empire, yeah, uh, you know, of college football. But <laughs> if Clemson were to win this game, and yeah. look, Alabama's had trouble in the Sugar Bowl. Uh, not the BCS championship game against LSU, but they've lost their last three Sugar Bowl appearances. Yeah. Does Clemson take the reign as the new <laughs> evil empire or, or evil empire, the power of the sport? I, th I think so. I think they're setting a foundation where you can present that argument. When you look at what they've done, I mean, if they beat Alabama and get to the national championship, if they win a national championship game, too, that's two out of the last three years. And it's not only about winning the national championship and getting there. It's about who you beat to get there. So now Alabama's like the dynasty. That's, you know, the, the evil empire. That's the dynasty right now. If you're going to dethrone anybody, it's not like they're playing some team that you don't have a lot of respect. They went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Alabama two years ago, lost that championship game, returned a year ago beat Alabama, and if they beat them again now, I think that it's a changing of the, of the guard, so to speak. Three years. Yeah, 41 three at, years. They, yeah. if, if they win these next two, two yeah. national championships, easily could have won going back to even the third one to be what? I think Bear said 41-3 and three yeah. in these last three years. Uh, I think as far as stats are concerned, you would be able to crown them and say, hey, yeah. look, there's a new kind of bar that's been raised, and it's now the Clemson Tigers. I've been looking at Clemson, I think we all have, for really the last six or seven years as a program that's been a top three or top four program. But if you beat Alabama and you win the trilogy and they go on to beat whoever wins this yeah. one, man, I, I think, I think there, there may be a new champ out there. Alabama needs a win offensively. And I'm going to tell you this. Mm -hmm. There were a lot, lot exciting in the last year, mm -hmm. but this year they're sound. They've only had four turnovers to lead the nation, yeah. and they have committed 19 last year. So that means Clemson has to earn every point they get this year because yeah. Alabama will not turn the ball over. You know, I think one of the things that's really interesting in terms of building a program and the stability, Alabama comes into the postseason, third straight year, dealing with coordinator change. That's true. Clemson yeah. has barely had any staff changes at all, let alone <laughs> one dealing with one in the playoffs. So yeah. that's and helped them a little bit, too, I think. Don't, don't, but don't you, your, your question to Des about kind yeah. of the Darth Vader or the, the kind of the bad guy or the villain, <laughs> right. I, it, we all know Lick, Nick and love him mm -hmm. because we see maybe a different side of him. Yeah. But I think the fans out there that aren't Alabama fans, they all want to get after guys like Nick Saban and Urban Meyer. I don't know if Dabo has that in him. I don't think Dabo is yeah. that guy. I don't think Clemson's that, that program. You're so right. even if they win these next two, we can look at the numbers and exactly. say, wow, they're now maybe the new champ. Right. But I don't think they become the villain. I think people enjoy hating yeah. Alabama and Nick Saban and Ohio State and Urban Meyer. Because of and, Dabo's personality. Uh, right. He's and, a guy, he's, you know, he's folksy, yeah. he's fun, he's going to yeah. dance with his players. Listen, gotta, if you get yeah. a, a smile out of Nick Saban, you damn near pass out. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And the fact yeah. that Nick has won five national yeah. championships. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Dabo won. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. far. On his so way. So though. far. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's a long way to go. Exactly. Exactly. Bama's still been doing this since really 08. I mean, they've been elite. Elite dynasty. Think about that. Well, I want to be. I want to be clear about this too. None of us are saying that if Clemson wins a game, wins a championship, Alabama is suddenly not good. No. Anyway, you know, <laughs> no. We're just saying, is there a new standard bearer? And to your point, I agree with you on Devil's personality. Yeah. Y you let him hoist a couple more of those trophies, and yeah. there'll be some good old-fashioned disdain in the yeah. 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 Let him roll up about three or four of those That's babies. True. That's Let's true. See what exactly. That's true. Yeah.